Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. This is an open tag response to Baxter's Blades. He put out a wonderful open tag saying, Show 10 Trappers. Well, I'm a few days behind on this, but I did want to jump in. Andrew, thank you so much for a great open tag. Folks, if you haven't checked out Baxter's Blades, why please do so. Go over there. Uh, he's got a great channel. Give him a sub. Give him a sub. Let's show our support for Baxter's Blades today. All right, so let's get into some trappers. We'll start up here in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, trigger warning, trigger warning. I have a viewer. Uh, you know, I don't want... I don't want to give out Byron's name, so I won't say who it is, but there are some purple ones here, so avert your eyes, Byron, when it comes by. Okay, so we're going to start out here with this Camco, and this is out of their Workhorse series. We've got this beautiful strawberry-colored jigged bone, and this one was made in China, probably around... 2013 and this you know camco a division of camillus they've been putting out knives for years and this was kind of their you know these american knife makers that were struggling to stay afloat and this is one of their last ditch attempts last gaps to try to stay afloat so they started having some of their knives uh, being made over there in china and you can see this beautiful etching on there with the farmer farming with the workhorses. And there's the Camco tank stamp. And on the reverse side, it says PRC. But a gorgeous knife. Picked this up in an antique store, sitting down in a showcase. It was all dirty and dusty. And But I went ahead and I grabbed it and come home and got her cleaned up. So there you go. There's one of them, Andrew. Camp Co. Yep. All right. Next, this is a gift. Um, maybe you can guess who it's from. There's a little bit of a hint on the cover there. <laughs> but yeah, Mrs. Knife Delights give me this one year for our anniversary. And this is a case. Got that natural white smooth bone. Husband plus the cross. Now we'll go into a lot of details. Uh, here's, she even had Tom put on the clip point blade there. I won't go over the, all the, you know, lengths of the blades and the weights and all of that. We're just going to skirt on through here. But I'll just let you check out the fit and finish on them here briefly. Case did a wonderful job on this one. Nice brass pins there. Okay, Byron, here we go. Here's a purple one. This is a unique trapper here. Tony Bow's design. This is called the Panama Trapper. Out of the Ictus series, or the fish there. But just look at this one. Beautiful knife. Big, heavy knife. Uh, it's kind of the his answer... Tony Bowes uh, designed a, what was called a back pocket knife, and somebody else one, uh, someone else uh, said he should do another back pocket knife, so he did, and this is it. But it's in the form of a trapper. Look at that spade blade. Yeah, this is a big knife. Nice half stops. Nice snap. This, did you hear that snap? Yes, very authoritative. So while I have it, here's a, a normal size trapper. I'll just put them side by side so you can see the difference in size. Which, since I have it in my hand, here's another one out of the Ictus series. And this is the smooth uh, purple curly maple. And I've got the whole series of these knives that they came out with over the last couple of years. I did do a video on that. So yeah. Here we go. Your standard trapper. 
but just look at that those covers i know they're purple but i just love them they got these gold streaks running through them and on some of the covers that more pronounced than others but just a beautiful gorgeous job on that okay they had one more trapper in the ICTA series with a smooth curly purple maple and this is the slimline trapper nice single bladed look at that clip point on there isn't that wonderful nice slim knife almost Almost reminds you of a toothpick in, in a way. That very nice, long, sloping clip point on it. So the Slimline Trapper. Okay. Oh, we might as well finish with our case here. Again, out of the Ictus series. This is the uh, Small Trapper here. And it's the Smooth Blue Ice Synthetic. Just let you take a gander at that. I need to polish them up again. Now, it's interesting. The, uh, the uh, small ones have the half stops and the big ones don't. But <laughs> There's that one. Wonderful snap. Are you hearing the snap on these? And there's your spay. Yeah, nice snap. And then this is the full-size trapper again with the smooth blue ice and the ictus shield. I do have the whole family of the smooth blue ice also. I did a video on that if you're interested. Make sure and check out my playlists. Got lots of wonderful videos. All right. Not quite as firm a snap on that one, but uh, again, your spay blade. Okay, now we're going to finish up strong. What everybody's been waiting for. How about some buck trappers? Well, this little guy here, this little small trapper, mini trapper, this was gifted to me by none other than Gunslinger Cal. Go make sure and check out Gunslinger Cal's channel too. And this is a buck. It came in a collector's tin. So there's a, a knife that pairs up with this. And it says Collector's Edition 2006. And it has this wonderful red bone, jig red bone to it. There you go. Nice and shiny bright. Yes, thank you, uh, Kalen, once again for this wonderful gift. And this is a USA-made buck trapper, one of the old ones. This is from, uh, what, 1990, I think. It's a collector, or a limited edition, I should say. And it's, uh, I'm going to turn it around this way. I oh, can't read that through the, this is number 191 out of 1500. So when we look at the main blade here, see 1991 ABCA limited edition, one of 1500. Nice snap there, listen to that. Oh yeah. Beautiful blue smooth bone. Yep, Buck USA. This is a uh, one made in China. And lastly, we are going to finish up with this one. This is an old buck here. It's kind of in rough shape. I got it off of eBay, but just to finish out my collection, or while working on my collection, they're the buck slip joints. And a lot of people refer to this as the uh, slimline, buck slimline trapper, uh, but it was never advertised as such. But it is kind of more thin, so people just 
collectors just gave it that name. But as you can see, somebody got a lot of use out of this knife. And although the blades are kind of used up on it, it's still a fine specimen of some of these old slip joints that Buck used to make. Look at that. That's almost like a needle. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. There's 10 trappers. I sure hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing these. Make sure and check out my slip joint playlist down here in the lower right-hand corner. Here in the center, that big round Knife Delights logo. Why, well, just punch it if you'd like to subscribe. And down here in the lower left-hand corner, well, that's just the next video that YouTube thinks you should watch. So until next time, have a very delightful day.